Good evening and welcome to Carter's Shed. Well, actually, we're in the dining room. I've been working from home a fair bit and Mrs Carter's Shed will be doing the same in the not too distant future. So we decided to give the dining room a second use by making a small workstation slash library along this wall. I want the finished project to look like it's all built off the wall. So skirt boards have to get cut away to allow the bookshelves to sit flush against the wall. I offered the bookshelves up to the position they'll sit and marked my cut line. I'm going to use an oscillating multi tool to make my cuts, but I don't want the tool to jump and mark the skirt in that will be left in place. So I'm just using two bits of scrap wood and some double sided tape to stop the tool from jumping and also keep my cut nice and straight. The crowbar helps remove the skirt in. I do a quick tidy up and I can get the shelves in the final position, then leveled up and attached to the walls at the top. There are three cuts in total to allow the bookshelves to sit flush against the wall. Now that I have the final measurements between the two set of shelves, I can get what will become the desktop cut to size with the track saw. I use a bandsaw blade to get the curve I want on one corner. Once I'm happy, I'll mark that line. This is 18mm plywood, but I'm going to double it up along the front to give it a chunkier look. Some glue and clamp gets the two bits bonded together. Once it's dry, I can cut out the curve that I wanted with the jigsaw. I can then use the offcuts to mark the same curves on the opposite side. And again, cut it out with the jigsaw. I don't want the exposed plywood layers on show, so I can offer the top up and mark where a veneer would need to stop. You can see I have already given the top a lick of paint and cut out the channel at the back for the cable management. I can now get the 2x4 veneer attached to the front of the desktop. Use some masking tape to hold it in place before firing some brads through to secure it with the glue. Now that I have the desktop done, I'm going to use 
MDF to make three more shelves to tie the bookcases together, as well as a small U-shaped shelf. You'll see what it's for later, but feel free to stick a guess in the comments below. To make the U-shaped shelves, I'm going to use dowels to hold uprights in the correct position, while glue and screws do the holding work. These dowel finders make finding the second hole nice and easy. Again, with the three extra shelves, I'm doubling up the front of them so that they are the same thickness as the shelves that came with the flat pack. Glue and pin nails hold the two parts together. I then use panel pins to hold the 2x4 veneer in place. This one was a little thinner than the one for the desktop and the air gun was blowing through the thin strip. I then use a flush trim bit in the router, trim the veneer down to the right size. Some filler and paint, then the shelves will be done. I can now get the desktop fitted at the right height and start work on the backboard for the monitor. I'm using these thin strips to stand the backboard off the wall to allow for the cables to run in the void that's created. The backboards will also be secured to them. I thought I had a wall mount for the monitor, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm going to use part of the monitor stand as the wall mount instead. I'm actually glad I did it this way, as it keeps the monitor really close to the wall. There are four screws that hold the part of the stand that clips into the monitor to the rest of the stand. With these out, the empty holes can be used to mount this part of the stand to the backboard. I can now cut out holes on the backboard for the cable management. Next I'm using the same wallpaper we used in the dining room to cover the backboard. Once stuck down, I can pop the holes through the front where the monitor mount will go. The cables get connected to the monitor and pass through the hole, then the monitor clips into place. There is a little release button at the bottom of the monitor, should I need to take it off for any reason. I 
The backboard can now get secured in place using screws in these screw covers. One in each corner is plenty to hold it securely in place. The three extra shelves that will tie the two bookshelves together and make it look like one big unit can now get fitted. Four L brackets on each shelf hold them in place. On to the finished touches now, a door stop first, then on to the cable management. I had to come through the side of this bookshelf to get to the electrical socket. Some conduit keeps all the cables tidy and concealed on the rundown. The little U-shaped shelf I made earlier is going to hold three different laptop chargers under the desk out of sight, with just the connectors run up to use on the desktop. Again, L brackets hold this in place to the underside of the desk. You can go around the whole unit and fill in any gaps with uh, some decorator's caulk. I made this little shelf for a few reasons. It lifts the printer up so that the power input isn't hitting against the back of the shelf and it gives it a little bit more space to push it further back. It also covers up all the spooled up cables and gives a space for some external hard drives to be stored out of the way. Thanks for watching and good evening.